Well, Coach, uh, I guess first talk about, you know, these end of game situations you guys have, were just doing in practice yeah. and it, some, you know I think uh, Trey just said you guys really picked up that during near the end of the year yeah and that's pretty typical I mean we focus most of the beginning of the year on building fundamentals and doing those kind of drills that are going to help us improve with our philosophies and such and then as you progress in the year uh, working more situational stuff and what do you think it is about this team that allows them to keep winning these close games coming out on top. Yeah, right now they just, you know, refuse to lose. And not just right now, I guess. They've, they've done that all year long. But I think you just pinpoint it to the chemistry that this team has and their ability to get along, share the ball, and uh, generally root for each other when somebody does something well. Are these, uh, you know, really close games, you know, scaring you guys at all? Or do you think it's get, getting, giving them more confidence or... I think it's got to give more confidence. You know, we don't play a style, uh, we've never played a style that has allowed us to blow teams out very often. It's just not the way we play defensively. Uh, you know, we don't press a lot. We don't overplay passing lanes and try to create turnovers with a lot of trapping. Uh, so just naturally, uh, you know, it's, it lends itself to being a, a closer ball game always. Uh, now, that's necessarily a one or two point game. We, you know, we don't necessarily want that, but uh, but because of that, you know, we're, we're typically in tight games, and our kids have responded very well. And, uh, you know, the first two games against Sauk Prairie uh, came back-to-back, -back and they were both close. Talk about what you guys have learned about that team and what makes them a difficult opponent. Yeah, I mean, we played them not even two weeks ago. So uh, starting again here, it's a new season. It's going to be a good game. We know that. And, uh, you know, they've got two really good guards that are, are scoring very well, have scored all year very well senior dominated team that they have and physically inside have some guys that can, can bang pretty good and, and finish near the basket so uh, it's gonna it's gonna we know it's gonna be a really good game uh, we're confident our guys will play very well uh, in that you know sectional situation with the crowd I think we sold a thousand tickets today in just over two and a half hours or hour and a half or whatever it was so uh, it's gonna be fun for these kids do you uh, kind of buy into the saying that it's really difficult to beat the same opponent twi uh, three times in the same season? Or uh, I don't know. Or? We've we've been in that situation on the other side, and it's it's never worked. So <laughs> I think uh, it's a new season. Everybody's got fresh blood. We're into the we're into the sectionals here, and to get to the sectionals, you have to be playing good basketball. So it, it doesn't matter who we're playing. We know it's going to be a good game. Two teams with a lot of confidence. Uh, two teams that deserve to be there. So it should be good. I believe Mount Horeb's only had one sectional final team since uh, 1950. Just talk about you know what it would mean for for this team to to advance that far. Uh, it would mean a lot. I don't know if that's we went in 2006. Yeah. I know that sectional final, and that was the last one you think for that. That's what I heard from uh, some Mount Horeb expert that lives down here. But uh, I guess I'll have to double check. It. I've got it. <laughs> I've got it on my phone, so I'll tell you in a second. But uh, yeah, whatever the case, uh, you know, it, we're excited. Uh, it's brought the community. Uh, a lot closer and it's been a lot of fun for them hopefully for our program's sake you know we got the little kids in town seeing this run and I know these kids lived through that with the 2006 team and they all remember that very well and so uh, you know those are the positives that have come out of a, a team making a run like this getting the publicity that they've gotten uh, it helps sell your program a little bit and, and get that basketball energy going in town. Uh, thanks coach.